Hey guys, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I am extraordinarily excited because I got my FabFitFun style box in. So this could totally be conspiracy theory, but my uh, select, my one year membership expired. I did two of my boxes, uh, my first two of the year, not on select and it was measurable. I love being a select member. So I jumped online and bought another year so I could be select again. And suddenly I was no longer on the wait list and I was allowed to order this box. So I do think they are honoring long-term memberships and prepay memberships to get in on the box earlier. So I ran and grabbed a glass of wine, came and sat down. And if you're having a hard time finding where the style box is, just go to the main FabFitFun page and scroll through that header bar. You'll see FabFitFun style and click the get started. Here is where you're going to want to be very, very honest. They use this style profile, you guys, to build out your box. So don't, this is not the time to flatter anyone or yourself. So I, I'm a rectangle. <laughs> There's, I'm straight up and down like a boy. So I would leave that selection. You can see here that I have put in my height of five foot four and a half. Um, I thought I had put in my pounds, but let's go ahead and enter those at 106. I, these are the sizes I typically wear. If you want to scroll up, here is the FabFitFun sizing chart. It's really, really good to use this information on translating sizes for FabFitFun. And you will go through and just pop those in here. Click next. Then this is less important and a little more fun. You're going to want to choose the boards that both best fit your style. And this one's a little hard for me because I wanted to select more than just three, but I chose modern, tomboy preppy. I skipped boho and I skipped edgy. I did choose glam sexy and I skipped romantic, but that was hard. I wanted romantic to be in there so bad. Then you select any colors you should avoid. I am a redhead and I have rosacea. I do not need any more red on me. So I have told them to avoid red. I wanted to say avoid black, but I didn't. In the other section, put information, just about anything that is in regards to anything that's been mentioned above, such as color or style. So like I put, if an elegant night out, I will wear black. Otherwise, I don't wear black tees. So my stylist knows not to send me a band rocker tee in black, because I would just never wear that. Then they asked if we wanted accessories in my box. I wear the same rings and jewelry that was gifted to me by my husband. So for me, it's a no. Here is where it gets really, really important, y'all. You have to be honest on your fit. Um, I put in what is best for me. I love high rise skinnies. Um, put in if you wear Spanx. Put in um, the type of clothes your closet needs the most. And my husband has kind of been complaining about my ultimate mom wardrobe rolling into date night. So I put date night party wear. And then you share which part of your body's, your body you like or don't like. And here are the options. You select, I love to show it off, only on special occasions, or less is more, keep them covered. And you go all the way through legs and midriff and rear end and cleavage. Fill all of that out. Then it asks you, how often do you dress for the following events? Put in how often? And here's the thing, this can be changed. This is not permanent. So for me, this is where I stand. In about a month and a half, two months, I'm probably gonna amp up the date night parties and the cocktail party special events because we're moving towards Christmas and I will want more during that. But post Christmas, I'll drop it back down and say I want more comfortable casual. For this first box, I chose the cheaper option. I chose the box that has 199. Um, you don't, I mean, you get to choose based on what's best for you. Um, I, on most of my subscription boxes, have only ever chose the lowest price point. Occasionally with my front door fashion, I amp it up because I know they carry the very best brands. While figuring this out, I chose the lowest. My box did end up being $347. So I cannot say that they honored my box total. Um, actually, they put me in the very highest ranking, which is the exact opposite of what I chose. 
When looking at your car wardrobe, which items do you spend most on? Denim is just such a, a thing for me, but perhaps yours is jackets or skirts. Let them know what you're willing to splurge on. This said, which accessory would you be most excited to get in your box? And I have never ever on a subscription box selected handbags. So I went out on a limb and put handbags for this one. It asked about jewelry, which made me nervous because I don't want to get any, but I did complete the survey on that. Then pop over and you're going to fill out all of this information. I have filled out all of this information. Um, it, I'm not sure why it did not get saved. And while I'm with you now today, I'm not going to recomplete it. But just really go into detail. Don't worry about having a good sales pitch or if you sound cool. Right, just think from morning to night, what do you do? What are your hobbies? And you should have seen my favorite Instagram accounts. I had Laura Beverlin on there. I had the twins on there. I went crazy with all of my favorite fashion Instagrammers. Um, I didn't really put any famous people, but I can't think of any famous people I idolize their accounts, but you could drop that as well. They're basically looking for go-tos to kind of see the world through your eyes. Then on the tell us more about you, list your information. Mine was plugged in, as you can see, they've regenerated that. Um, having a Pinterest board with outfits that you love, outfits that you're moving towards is really, really helpful. I have a what is in my closet Pinterest board so stylists can see what is actually in my closet. And I have a what to wear style profile board so that things I want to be in my closet they can reference. And those two boards have saved my tail for years. So I do recommend having one of each. And then you just click submit. Um, when I submitted my box, I submitted it on the 13th of the month and I got my box on the 31st. So it took 18 days for them to gather clothes, style me and ship it to me. I did run into a problem where somehow spam ate my confirmation. So I got my box as a surprise. I did not know if they were styling it, when it was going to be delivered, nothing. I have since found those emails and marked them as not a spam and saved them to my mailbox so that that won't happen again. But it was super exciting, which is why my hair looks a bit like it does now. I was in the shower whenever my box came in. Um, another important thing to note is that upon receiving your box, you only have three business days to go through it. That is really, really fast. Most boxes do three to five business days. Um, I did look it up and if you find yourself in a bind, you can ask for an extension. They carry sizes double zero through 24, I believe. Let's see if it's on here. If you scroll to the bottom, you can go to the Fab Fit Fun Style FAQs. I spend a whole lot of time on FAQ pages. There's a lot of information there. Oh, there is a $20 styling fee. You pay it upon ordering your box, but that $20 goes towards the first item that you purchase. If you do not purchase anything, it just is used for the styling and the shipping. However, if you get your box and there are miss sewn items that outfits just don't fit, you need to email them and let them know so that they can rectify the situation. Their customer service is very, very good. All right. They do, I'm confirming, they carry women's sizes extra small through 3X, as well as sizes double zero through 24 wide. There we go. And if you watched my last Fab Fit Fun Fall unboxing for 2019, I'll link it up. It, I always forget where it goes. <laughs> uh, you can see that I shout this out and you could also check out that box. But let's dive in. So all I've done is fill out my style profile online, which is super easy and super fast, and I paid 20 bucks so that this box would be curated and that $20 goes towards whatever I keep. If I don't keep anything, it does function just like Stitch Fix and all the rest. They keep it as a fee. Um, I don't ever have a problem finding something to keep. From just first glance, initial impression, I'm very impressed. I see brands I love, I see colors and textures I love, and I wish I was not on a budget and I might not be on the budget after this box. So first item is this adorably cute top. Okay, I have on the Easy Breezy Henley by Free People. This is a size extra small. I, I don't, 
don't know what I got going here. Um, it looks like a Miss Sew to me. I do not believe it's supposed to be like this because the back is straight. I love this. I think it's so pretty. It's a perfect Texas fall transition piece because we want to wear long sleeve, but it's 100 degrees outside, and this is just thin enough. The sleeves are super long, so you can kind of position them. As you can see, I had this one here with the slouch. I have this one scrunched up. You really have options on what you can do with it, which I love, but I, I can't. That would drive me crazy. And not to mention, this shirt is $72. Not that I'm against spending 72, but it has to be pretty epically perfect. And so let me show you the back one more time. So that's item number one. And here is the top. I can't wait to try this one on. Okay, this is the Tropical Mist set. I have the bottoms on, which are 54, I believe, and the top is 29. They are two separate pieces. The shorts have these cute little pockets. They're super comfortable. The whole thing is comfortable. The straps are adjustable. I don't know that it's fall moving into, I mean, summer moving into fall transition. I don't know if it falls in that title, but I like it. I actually want to try this on with just a pair of denim shorts. I'm sure this looks cute. I just weird out about the matchy matchy thing. I rarely wear things that coordinate quite this much. So, let me go throw this top on with some denim shorts for you guys. Okay, so here I am with denim shorts. I just threw on some high-waisted denim, and I love it. This is a great $29 top. Comfortable, the material feels great, and honestly, I would probably keep the shorts if the shorts weren't $54. I literally just went in there and held them up together. It's not more material. I, I'm not quite sure why they have such an increased price on the shorts. I would make the outfit but they'd make it 89, 84, 89 dollars. And that's just too much in my opinion for this material, which is a very thin, cheaper material. If you look down here, you can see tons of strings. I already cut a bunch of them off because I didn't want y'all to see them. It's just not a really high caliber, high quality made, which is fine for 20 bucks, but not for 80 something. So I think the top alone will be a yes. So I'm curious if that counts as one item or two items. I'll know once I'm done going through here because I think you get five in your box. My third item is this top, which is also super cute and very Fiesta and San Antonio appropriate. It is quite sheer, like, I don't know if you can see, but I'll show you when I try it on. So we'll see, but it's, it's Good because I asked for fall transition pieces, but I live in Texas, so it's 103 degrees outside, but I'm wanting to pretend like it's fall. Such a struggle. Okay, so I have on the Alexa flutter sleeve top. It's only a $29 top, and I would say it feels like a, like a $29 top, not for good or for bad, just didn't want to over evaluate. Um, it's not really my style. It's a little too baby dollish. I don't, I don't know. Like this part doesn't flow for me. I will say, living here in San Antonio, this is a very San Antonio top. Like a lot of my girlfriends wear these. Um, it's okay, it's not good or bad. If I had the whole box that I loved and I was pushing up whether to keep this or not, I would totally keep this and get the 25% off. So make sure whenever you're running your numbers that if you have one item you don't like but you like the rest of the items, that you run those numbers to see if keeping it actually saves you money with that 25% off keep all. So I have this as a maybe. Maybe comment below and tell me, yes, keep the blue Alexa flutter sleeve or don't. And then no matter what, give the video a thumbs up. Okay, next item is this guy. What is, oh, it's a dress. How? Cute, cute, cute. I love long dresses, wanted long dresses. Sometimes I'm a little sketch about off the shoulders, uh, so I'll try it on and see. Love the print. Okay, I have on the Lilani off the shoulder dress and it fits exactly how I thought it was going to. It's just not real big, figure flattering. When I walked out, my husband literally said, hey, mamacita, which is great, but just not my gold look. Um, yeah, it's just, 
not really me. And I think it's like $74, which is, you know, if it's $74, I want to love it. And it, it kind of feels cheaper. So I don't know. Um, I was so excited about that bit fun in the style box, like wildly excited checking my shipment over and over. But as I'm getting more into the box, that excitement is dwindling very quickly. And last item, much to my husband's dismay, is a pair of pants. I love denim. I just, I just love denim. Okay, it's cut from the cloth, a brand I love. Double, uh, size double zero, ankle skinny in Connie. So this is the Connie pant. Ooh, they do look like they're gonna be skinny enough for my tiny little legs. If you watched my front door fashion unboxing, I'll link it in whatever corner. There were a pair of pants that I fell in love with so very much and it was the smallest size and they swallowed me. It was so sad, so sad. Okay, let's try these on. These jeans are the Connie ankle skinny jeans by Cut From The Cloth and they're 89 and they literally look like they were built for me. The fit is amazing. They feel amazing. They're actually skinny on my ankles, which is nearly impossible to do. But I, I'm pretty sure I own these exact jeans and this washer one really, really close from Stitch Fix. So probably not keeping these just because I literally do have 50 pair of denim. But they're great. I love them. I think the cost for 89 bucks for a perfect fitting pair of jeans is like, yes. Um, and obviously this top I talked about earlier, I just can't. I've been wearing it for a little bit to see if you grow on me. I just can't. So it is a no. And the bottom of the box is the bag that anything I don't want, I just drop it in here, postage is already done, and I take it over to FedEx is who I think they use, or have FedEx come get it from me. Then at the bottom, it's a cute paper fun, is a note from my stylist. I think her name is Serafina. If you keep the whole box, you get 25% off. Um, and it says, welcome to FabFitFun Style. I really enjoyed styling you. Thank you for your photos and notes. They really helped a lot. You're gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. Today, I wanted to start you out with a great pair of Connie jeans. They're so versatile. Add some fresh and fun tops to go with them that are a part of our two week, $29 woven top promotion. Okay, so they have promotions that they do. This letter is really long, so I won't read it all. I just want to get past that point because I was wondering what she was talking about. They have promotions. I'm going to research this some more after the video and I'll link comments in the notes below. Next is my invoice. I have one, two, three, four, five, six individual items at a total of $347. If I keep everything, it only costs $240 and 25 cents. And then on the back is information on how to connect with them, how to make returns. They have FAQs and contact info. So it seems pretty thorough. Okay, so I'm keeping one item. I am keeping this shirt alone. I love it. I think it's great. I have the $20 style fee credit that I was gonna try to use anyway. So it works out great that I love this top naturally. But I am returning everything else. Um, Seriously, you guys, I my husband's been making fun of me. I've been stalking this box like crazy, just super excited, super excited to see. And I have to say, I'm really disappointed. I look at a lot of clothing subscription boxes. I've seen them at their beginnings, their middles, and even at their ends as they've closed their doors. And FabFitFun has a great brand, a great name, and a lot going for them. And it's weird that this came out like it did. Um, I expected higher quality in uh, the clothing itself. Um, I guess I feel like my style requests were honored. I mean, maybe that shirt that was misowned should have never been put in that box. Um, I don't know. Here, this is how excited I was. I was in the shower doing my hair, see how crunchy it is? I followed the curly girl method and have not, like my hair's not even done. I ran out and started filming this video even though my hair looks ridiculous because I had to know what was inside. And now I feel disappointed. Anyways, I'm not saying don't try it. Give it a try. I don't know if I have any coupon codes or referrals or anything, but if I can scrounge some up, I'll put them down 
in the link below. I'll put them on my blog as well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give this box another try because I give all of them multiple tries before I poo poo on anything, which rarely happens around here. So, Fat Fit Fun, thank you for trying. I at least have a one top for next summer, or maybe I can get a denim coat to put over this for fall that I will love and appreciate. All right, guys, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. It's super encouraging for me as I'm just here doing this on my own, and it's just really happy to see you guys watching and interacting. If you have any questions for me, you know how to find me. Leave a comment below or check me out on Instagram or Facebook. Either one. I'm on both. Or shoot me an email. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.